What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets Radio. Uh, for those of you that want to follow me on Twitter, it's T Roush, T R A U C H 21. Instagram is T Roush 2121. We also launched a new YouTube channel regarding mental health. It's called Let's Talk Mental Health. Please subscribe, check it out, give us feedback. We definitely appreciate it. This uh, video is about the wide receiver group. And the free agent class is, is not very, uh, it's very average, not a lot of big names, it's not a plethora of talent out there. So immediately you look at Robbie Anderson, and Robbie Anderson is a fan favorite, but apparently a lot of fans don't want to pay him. They're like, give him $9 million or $10 million per year, or he can walk. Well, I have news for you. His going rate is going to be $11 million plus per year. So if you don't want to pay him, which it seems like a lot of fans don't want to, okay, where do you go from there? Assuming that there's a very good chance Quincy New is not back either. So you say no Robbie, no Quincy, a decent chance Le'Veon Bell is gone, and two of, your, two of your top pass catchers from this year are gone, not exactly stability or consistency for Sam Darnold. But we'll go with the fact that you want to get rid of Robbie Anderson or not, you don't want to re-sign him. Where do you go? Amari Cooper is going to be way too much money, and I, I just don't see the Jets um, going after him. I'd be shocked if he leads the Cowboys, but he's going to want to go to a win-now team or a team that's going to pay him a ton of money, and the Jets aren't paying him $18, $19 million a year. A.J. Green is a big name. But the last two years have been injury riddled. He's 32 years old. Good player. But I mean, again, is he going to want to go from Cincinnati where he, didn't, where he didn't really have a lot of success to the New York Jets? I'm not really so sure. And I'm not really sure he's a good fit for the price that he commands, especially at 32 years old. Where, you know, other names that we've heard, Randall Cobb, I mean, I, I, he's 30 years old, probably going back to the Cowboys. Demarius Thomas, we know what he is. Um, Sammy Watkins, if he's released. Definitely an option, but he's also going to want big money. I mean, what are the names you have out there? Um, oh, Emmanuel Sanders, 33 years old. Do you want to build your team around a 33-year-old wide receiver? At some point, you want to have building blocks. You want to have a core that Sam Donald can work with for five to six years. So he already has two years of Robbie Anderson. Give him three more years together. Kind of have this, this young nucleus that you can, you can grow with together. And like I said, Demarius Thomas is a free agent. Quincy could be gone. So you have Jamison Crowder is your slot guy, your, your consistent guy, but you need players around him. And no no disrespect to Braxton Berrios or Vincent Smith. They're complementary role players, like a fourth or fifth receiver. But you, you really need to have quality players. And yes, you can look to the draft. If you if you address the offensive line of free agency, you can maybe look to drafting a, a rookie in the first round or second round or something like that. But, I mean, then you know what you get with a rookie player. You're going to look at, you know, Maybe a, a decent rookie year, hopefully something next year if they pan out. If they don't, then what happens with Sam? And you can make the argument that Sam can make his players around him better, but you still need legitimate talent. So while you don't want to pay Robbie Anderson, and you, or you don't want to pay him a lot, you may be forced to based on his age and his potential and his chemistry with Sam Darnold. If not, you you got to really get creative in terms of who you're going to replace him with. And I, I people are going to say he's not a number one, you can't pay him number one money. What you got to also keep in mind is the salary cap money goes up every year, and the contract you give them this year, two years from now, is probably look like a bargain, just in the way the rates keep going up and everything else. So do you go the veteran, older guy since 32, 33 years old, or do you go with the younger guy and, and pay him all the same? This It's an interesting spot for Joe Douglas. I, I honestly don't want to go with Band-Aids and stopgap players at wide receiver. I want to build this offense the right way. And now, especially with Le'Veon Bell most likely to be gone, you have no running backs on a roster. You have, what, Josh Adams and uh, Trenton Cannon? So you can be entering the season with just Jamison Crowder. You have a tight end position, which hopefully comes back with Chris Herndon and Ryan Griffin. But you could have, what, two new receivers and three new running backs? Not ideal. Not an ideal way to, to uh, build an offense. Unfortunately, this is what McCagney has put us into. This is what Adam Gase is going to put us into. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be uh, interesting. Joe Douglas has his hands full. And, you know, you want to spend all this money on offensive line, maybe a pass rusher. You need two corners. The money is going to go fast. How much do you allocate to wide receiver? So let's enjoy, we'll enjoy the debates. You know, we got to hope that maybe some guys get cut that we don't expect on other teams. But with a limited market of free agents, the, the values are going to skyrocket. Be a lot of competition. The Jets could be in a very hard spot. So stay tuned. Never a dull moment with this team. And we'll see what happens.